live from downtown Port of Spain. This is the TV6 Weekend News. Good evening and welcome to the TV6 Weekend News. I'm Dominic Califisad. In the headlines, the Police Complaints Authority is investigating the issuance of firearm user licenses by the police. A rush of adults for the Pfizer vaccine. And in sport, Nicholas Paul brings home the gold medal from the UCI Nations Cup. First up, the Police Complaints Authority will be conducting its own investigation into the allegations of corruption involving a reported gun license racket within the police service. The PCA revealed its plan to pursue the matter today, as Alicia Boucher reports. In a brief media release on Saturday, the Police Complaints Authority indicated that pursuant to Section 26 of the PCA Act, Chapter 1505, it has initiated an independent investigation regarding reports of practices surrounding the dissemination of firearm users' licenses by members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. The allegations that the PCA is now investigating surround what has been described as bribes and kickbacks being funneled to senior members of the TTPS from the issuance of FULs in what is reported to be a gun license racket. Business persons, including certain gun dealers, trainers, range owners, and firearm instructors, are said to be implicated in the corruption. In late 2020, the allegations reached the government, and Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, in his capacity as head of the National Security Council, commissioned a team, including a former chief of defense staff and a former head of the special branch, to investigate the matter. It was recently revealed that the Police Service Commission has also hired former Judge Stanley John on to manage its Blissy Passard led investigation into the matter. In terms of its own investigation, the PCA says, as an independent oversight body, it is committed to ensuring that no police officer acts above the rule of law, as well as committed to empowering the citizenry to report incidents of police misconduct or criminal activity. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News. The acting police commissioner, McDonald Jacob, says the police service has taken note of a social media broadcast by the leader of the Jamaat al muslimin Yasin Abubakar, in which he is highly critical of the state's handling of several matters and has called for change. Acting Commissioner Jacob states that the police are prepared to respond to any activity that may be as a consequence of Bakker's words. He noted that the police will follow intelligence-led policing and will be using all technology available to them to ensure that law and order are maintained throughout the country. The Muslim leader was careful to ensure that he noted after each statement that he was not threatening anyone, but rather giving a warning. He also spent a lot of time speaking about the perceived injustices that Muslim and African children face in the secondary entrance assessment examinations. He claimed that the system was against persons of these denominations, and he labelled parents as wicked, as he believed they allowed the injustices to continue. He also spoke about injustice in the prison system, saying there were men incarcerated for more than 15 years without a trial. Bakker said he knows how to stand up and rely on the power of Allah for his cause and called on his supporters to do the same. To this end, he even touched on the gang violence ongoing in the country and called on young men to put down the illegal guns. The Health Ministry has confirmed that a seventh case of COVID-19 Delta variant has been identified in this country. The patient is a recently returned national who traveled to Trinidad from the Turks and Caicos via Florida. The ministry said the national provided a negative PCR test which was taken 72 hours prior to arrival. The person has been placed into state-supervised quarantine. And there are nine more COVID-related deaths over the past 24 hours. That's the latest from the Health Ministry, which says the death toll now stands at 1,368. The Ministry also reported 260 new positive cases from samples taken during the period September 7th to 10th. The total number of active positive cases now stands at 3,943. 
And as at 4 p.m. today, the total number of fully vaccinated persons has reached 438,491. If you do not get your child vaccinated soon, you'll have to wait until the country acquires another batch of the Pfizer vaccine. The health ministry is noticing what it calls a troubling trend as adults rush for the Pfizer shots, while uptake among children has significantly decreased. Alicia Boucher has this report. When TNT received 305,000 doses of Pfizer through a United States donation, it was reserved for the school-aged population between ages 12 and 18. Government has since opened up Pfizer to the public, and Minister of Health Terence Dialsing notes that there is a shift in the uptake pattern. Many more adults now are taking advantage of the Pfizer vaccines as opposed to children. And while that is good for the adults, it is not so good for the children. So I'm giving you the glass half full perspective and the glass half empty perspective. 33,540 children in the 12 to 18 age group have received their first dose of Pfizer out of an adolescent population of 90,000. 230 were migrants. We started off with three consecutive days of about 3,004 per day. That has now dropped to the past two days of 550 and yesterday 549. So don't let the numbers lull us into a sense of complacency. Minister Dial Singh says the slow uptake rate is worrying and he's putting parents on notice while calling on them to take the opportunity to get their children vaccinated in the coming weeks. Your window of opportunity to access the Pfizer vaccine will start to close because of expiry date issues that we have to administer your first dose by around the middle of October to the end of October because we have to administer your second dose within three weeks and these vaccines expire at the end of November. He is asking parents not to project their own fears about vaccination onto their children who may want to get vaccinated, noting the serious impact the Delta variant is having on younger age groups. In terms of pregnant women, 366 people have received their first dose of Pfizer, and Minister Dial Singh is also urging that group, especially those in the second and third trimester, to take advantage of the opportunity to be vaccinated. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News. Government has added another industry to those being earmarked for reopening in October under the TT Safe Zone initiative. This remains dependent on the COVID-19 situation in TNT not worsening. Health Minister Dial Singh made the announcement today at a virtual news conference. In addition to the uh, um, casinos, uh, the restaurants and so on, that the the um, betting shops under the Bookmakers Association of Trinidad and Tobago will be allowed to open when the Honorable Prime Minister uh, presses that particular um, trigger or buzzer under the TT Safe Zone arrangement. And the Minister reminded business owners who operate those establishments of the stipulation that would come with a reopening. So everybody working in a racing pool um, a betting shop under the Bookmakers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, please urge your employees to get vaccinated because you will have to provide some sort of proof of vaccination for your employees and um, customers as we move forward. Still ahead on the TV6 Weekend News, MP Fitzgerald Hines takes the vaccine drive to Beetham Gardens. First, this. So you would think the reason that Rome got vaccinated was to go back and sing Parang, to have a great Trini Christmas, to be on the road carnival Monday and Tuesday having a fun time. But the reason why I got vaccinated was for my family. I have a bigger sister who has lupus and her immune system is weaker than the average person. So myself and my entire family, we went out there and got vaccinated to protect her. She herself did it with the advice from her doctors. So let's do our part and vaccinate TNT.
focus. Relax. It's just a game. Just a game? No. This is the passion of a people. The pride of a nation. This can't be just a game. So, focus. But then, it is just a game. Played for fun. Played for joy. Played for the love of the sport. So just enjoy the moment. And focus. So, which is it? It's neither. It's both. Focus. Burger King makes it possible with the Impossible Whopper Family Meal. Enjoy three Impossible Whopper sandwiches with three regular fries and a two-liter Coca-Cola for only $1.55. Available at all Burger King restaurants nationwide. Or place your order from Hello Food. Call 235-FOOD or download the app today. Burger King. Taste rules your way. Things don't always go as expected. Be ready with Trinry for auto, home, business and group life. Call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Huge insurance premium. Pay your premiums bit by bit with FlexiPay from Trinry. For more manageable auto, home and commercial insurance payments, call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Trinry, premier insurance coverage for less. More than 9,000 people have received the one-shot Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine as part of the government's vaccination outreach initiative. The plan is to push it further into various communities and commercial spaces. However, Tobago remains an area of serious concern. Alicia Boucher has more. The Northwest Regional Health Authority has administered a total of 158,478 doses of COVID-19 vaccines to date. In terms of the vaccination outreach program, CEO of the NWRHA, Celicia Bax, says 884 doses of the one-shot J&J vaccine have been administered through that particular initiative. Places of worship, community centers, coastal areas in Maracas and Las Cuevas are among those where outreach activity was undertaken. Shopping malls are now the target. So today we are at the Long Circular, West Mall and Starlight Shopping Plaza between the hours of 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Vaccinate and shop. You can't get it easier than that. So come visit us at our various um, booths in these um, different um, malls and we will be able to provide you with a vaccine. Bax says 68 people were vaccinated at CityGate on Friday as part of the government's transit vaccination drive. And WRHA is also assisting MP for Laventil West, Fitzgerald Hines, on his vaccination drive. Yes, of course, Northwest will be looking at going into more communities and, of course, more places of worship. Our next big event will be um, at the Brian Lara Promenade at the end of this month. And furthermore, we'll be looking at supermarkets major markets. Minister of Health Terence Dielsing says 9,011 people have so far received the J&J vaccine, bringing the total number of completed vaccinations to 438,491. The last weekend in September and the first weekend in October on the Friday and Saturday would see the vaccination outreach program expanded as the government plans to target to Napuna, Sandy Grandi and Central and South Trinidad. But he is concerned about the uptake under the Tobago Regional Health Authority, which accounts for 18,679 first doses with 14,498 full vaccinations to date. He's calling on Tobagonians to step up to the plate. The persons in Tobago who are encouraging you not to be vaccinated, they will not be there for you when you are ill. They will not be providing the hospital space, and Tobago is already challenged. They will not mind your family if you die. 
On the issue of Trinidad intervening to assist Tobago with the problem of the high number of hospitalizations at the ICU level, Minister Dial Singh says the situation is being assessed. We sent across a team to Tobago to spend three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They were supposed to have come back tomorrow. And we'll be getting a report on Tobago's um, capacity. However, the minister believes, ultimately, the key for Tobago is vaccination amid having low resources. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News. National Security Minister and Member of Parliament for Laventil West, Fitzgerald Hines, was on the ground at the Beetham Community Centre today as part of government's vaccination outreach program. It was a follow-up to the activity on Friday where MP Hines handed out flyers in the area seeking to arm residents with information on the COVID-19 vaccine. Today, it was a slow but sure start to the vaccination drive as Hines met with health workers, volunteers, and people living in his constituencies. Those who decided to take their shots had a, a variety from which to choose, including the one-shot J&J &J and much sought after Pfizer. He expressed confidence in the level of work that was done to ensure that people are educated on the topic of vaccination and that they are well aware of the initiative at the community centre. We advertise this on six radio, you know, Boom Champion, Red 95, 91.9, Flam 100, 102. We've been out there, 91.9 by Iowa. Really, really kick it up, you know. And all flyers, put up the banner. We have two radio programs. Yeah, we do some things. He also pleaded with those who went to get vaccinated to go back out into their community and get as many young people to go in and get their shots as well. Coming up in sport, cyclists Nicholas Paul and Akil Campbell win gold at the UCI Nations Cup. And Manchester United remains at the top of the EPL with win against Newcastle. Sport is next. Whether it's a quick meal with Rainbow Foods corned beef and tasty baked beans and tomato sauce, a delicious kidney bean combination, or pasta galore, there's a rainbow for you. Make magic with a mackerel. Cook up delightful dishes with our pigeon peas, chickpeas, mixed vegetables, and instant coconut milk. Rainbow spilts and sugars are perfect for desserts, cakes, and teas. And you will just love all our corned meats and rice. Rainbow Foods, excellent quality, reasonably priced at leading supermarkets nationwide. For over 65 years, Trinidad Cement Limited has been the only manufacturer of cement in TNT. Designed to meet local and international standards, our products undergo rigorous testing to ensure the highest quality. Our facility produces fresh cement 24 hours per day and with distribution to over 500 hardware stores nationwide, your project is always well supplied. Build with Trinidad Cement Limited, the brand you know and trust. Ask for it by name. The SEA exam paved the way for a new chapter in your child's life. Here's how you can support your child during this transition. There is a tendency for us as adults, parents, huh? to behave as though real school is only when our children are in the classroom live and direct. It's important that we understand that this is real school. Please ensure that your children bathe and dress and are ready for school. They did their homework and they are seated in such a way as if ready for school. We do not think it best for them to be upside down on a bed. We don't think it is best for them to be seated on the floor. Get a proper table and a chair and let them be ready for school so that that posture becomes normal for them 
in the live classroom and also at home. For 20 years, the UTC has offered the SE Scholarship Program to TNT's most talented and dedicated students, providing them financial support and a fair chance to excel at secondary school. Find out if your child is eligible for the SE Scholarship Program today. Visit www.ttutc.com. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. In times of crisis, embrace the power of possibility, the power of you, in choosing a bright future with UE Roytech. Crises bring opportunities, opportunities which UE Roytech has mastered and used for growth and renewal. Our fully accredited cutting edge programs will position you to take advantage of career opportunities in an ever changing and exciting new world. Whether face to face, remote, or hybrid, UE Roytech's rewarding learning experience is shaped by a globally connected curriculum, delivered by highly competent faculty, and backed by enabling technology. The possibilities are endless. We have 34 years of experience in empowering learners. Join us as we take hold of the future and place you on your path to career success. Register today to experience the possibilities at UB Roytech. To learn more, log on to www.roytech.edu. TNT athletes are shining at the UCI Nations Cup in Cali, Colombia. After missing out on a medal at the Olympics, cyclist Nicholas Paul picked up gold in the men's one-kilometer time trial. He was in good company as Akil Campbell won the men's elimination race. The one-kilometer time trial in Cali, Colombia was Nicholas Paul's first race back since the Olympics, and he competed like he had a point to prove. After topping the qualifiers in a brisk 59.378 seconds, one-tenth of a second shy of his national record, Paul had little problems accomplishing yet another milestone by winning in 59.994 seconds. That's 0.246 seconds ahead of Poland's Patrick Radzkowski. It was also an event to remember for Akil Campbell who made his Nations Cup debut in the men's elimination race. And what a success it turned out to be. He rode strategically before surging ahead to win. El de Trinidad y Tobago viene el sprint final. Quentele y el de Trinidad y Tobago. Los de Trinidad y Tobago son expertos en este tipo de pruebas. Vendrá al final si se la dio. Kenny de Quentele, el ganador es Aquil. Es Aquil Campbell Aquil. Y él. He will compete again in the men's Omnium tomorrow. Nicholas Paul, though, resumed action today in the Karen. He won his heat, while Karen Bramble finished third in his heat. Sir Judo for TV6 Sport. Over the, in the English Premier League, Cristiano Ronaldo and Romelu Lukaku both caught doubles for Manchester United and Chelsea in their respective matches today. Ronaldo's double came in a 4-1 triumph over Newcastle United, while Lukaku was part of a 3-0 win over Aston Villa. Stay with us for the weather forecast next. What if your device was a gateway to listen to so much music that dancing becomes your new workout? To stream so much live sports that your adrenaline will rush? To watch so many movies that you will talk in famous dialogues? To video chat with your BFF? Flip, D Music, Sports Max, Play Go, Loop, Go Loud, and Below. All the digital experiences plus extra data to enjoy the things you love. Introducing the new Digital Prime Bundle. Get 235 gigs with a 30-day bundle. So much data, so much fun. Buy in the My Digital app today. It's not the falling, but the getting up. When you hear the calling, there's no letting up. For that which broke us, also awoke us. Steady now. Focus. Focus. He makes it possible with the Impossible Whopper Family Meal. Enjoy three Impossible Whopper sandwiches with three regular fries and a two-liter Coca-Cola for only $1.55. Available at all Burger King restaurants nationwide. Or place your order from Hello Food. Call 235-FOOD or download the app today. Burger King. Taste rules your way. Engines are about to start again. New journeys are coming. 
Drive on with Shell Helix Ultra, the only motor oil made from natural gas, designed for ultimate engine performance. Shell Helix, drive on. So, you've had to change things a bit for your business to survive. Now, you trade online with those who are online. But wouldn't it be great if everyone knew your business existed and how easy it is to access your product or service? Just think, what if more people were aware that your business now operates online? That's where we step in. Television advertising remains one of the most reliable and effective mediums of advertising and continues to be a leading source of information and entertainment for everyone. Now we understand the apprehension about even considering the cost of advertising, especially now, so we've worked that out. At TV6, we've also adapted to meet you along the way. We've simplified the process and made it affordable for every business to advertise with us. So contact us, give television advertising with TV6 a try, and watch as your followers online grow. It's a new world and TV6 is still here. So the meteorological office says tonight will be clear with an odd overnight shower, but it says gusty winds and street flooding may occur in heavy showers and thunderstorms. On Sunday, conditions are expected to be generally sunny with showers over a few areas. That's the way it was. I'm Dominic Calipizad. On behalf of all of us at Team 6, have a good night.